I'm Bob Winslow with Teradex. Welcome to Applying Information Technology for Stewardship of Groundwater Contamination Plumes. This map image is of Silicon Valley, and the pink is the groundwater plumes that occur across Silicon Valley. Some metrics can be considered for 13 Superfund sites that cover approximately 6 square miles and impact as much as 10,500 residents. Land activity is intense in these plumes, 4,800 excavations per year or three new child cares would start each year. For this discussion of information technology, we'll focus on the MEW Superfund study area. Study area is formed by a ISO concentration line of TCE and the site affects residential and commercial areas. Our question is how a project manager can control land activities and we focus on the use of Teradex information technology. We begin with the project managers logging on to the website. We use something called the cleanup deck which stores the information for Teradex Landwatch services. We focus on the MEW study area. We adjust the zoom and then we activate the monitoring layer. The initial focus is on land activity alerts. These are activities where certain criteria have been exceeded that would warrant giving notice to the project manager. We're looking at activities that occur in 2014 at the project site. Alerts are coded with icons. We can consider one sample alert, in this case an excavation into a street. One of the things we can do with the tool is focus on the site both in map view and in image view to judge the alert uh, before we study the details. Pressing the I button and then moving to the icon allows us to focus on the activity and then we click across to the actual land activity alert form and here the details of the alert are seen both its location, who the applicant is, and its view in the map view. The discussion of the alert is managed in this discussion form and here we see a project manager marking her response into the form, saving the response, and in this case indicating that the alert is closed. Land activities can be viewed in the context of events, which is the large universe of land activities that Teradex filters to release the alerts. So there's more events than alerts, and the alerts are those that exceed the criteria. The events are the universe of data that we monitor. We also maintain a property layer and the focus is on highlighting new property transactions in the study area. We use a color code to represent the land, the property changes, and in this case we'll focus in on one recent property change where we click the orange property and we can observe that this property flipped on December 2013, so relatively recent property sales. You'll observe how we can move around the study area and obtain ownership on any parcel in the, in the study area. We work to maintain a layer of sensitive uses, and in this case, daycare, and schools. 
So all the daycares and the schools near the project site are mapped. And again, you can click on one and get the basic information on the daycare. Another aspect of stewardship is considering the role of local government. In this case, how can a local government planner make decisions at sites like this? And here we go to Palo Alto to show a pilot with the city of Palo Alto where we share the same information for a city planner. In this case, we look at the TCE and fuel plumes in Palo Alto. This is a flow through the city's GIS system to the Teradex information in what we call the cleanup deck. You can see they click a link there and they come across to a similar view extent showing institutional controls, groundwater plumes, and cleanup sites. In this case we're focusing on an institutional control. We'll step through the various features of the cleanup deck starting with groundwater plumes. The various layers are activated. And in this case, we focused on the groundwater plume. We click the groundwater plume, and basic information about the groundwater plume is shown. Depth to groundwater, again with a link to a regulatory site that gives the basic information on the cleanup. Now we can activate the institutional control layer. And here, a relatively comprehensive list of institutional control informa information is maintained. You can see the institutional controls have been mapped onto uh, the cleanup deck to correspond with the representations of the boundaries of the institutional control. When Multiple restrictions are listed. They've been represented with these same icons that make it relatively easy for a planner uh, or a non-involved stakeholder to get the information. Documents would contain a link to the institutional control itself. And finally, we can take a look at cleanup sites. Here we click on a cleanup site and a balloon pops up allowing a basic overview of the site, again with a link to the regulatory information. So we've had a chance to look at two modes of discovering information. One is a project manager and secondly is a city official. Thus we're making progress in stewardship of our groundwater plumes and other environmental impacts. Thank you very much.